In this video, we're going to practice using the new gradient formula that we have recently discovered. Remember that that formula was given as. And so let's start with number one, and we'll see how super easy this is. So we're going to find the gradient between A, B. So I'm just going to call A point number two and B point number one. It really doesn't matter. Then what we do is we use the formula as we see it. So it says that we must take the Y value of point number two, which is three. Then the formula has a minus, so we put a minus. Then it says the y value of point number one, which is one. Then the x value of point number two. So we go to point number two, which is a, and we look for its x value, which is minus three. And then the formula says we must put a minus. Then we go to the x value of point number one, which is b, and we go down to its x value, which is three. Always remember that the horizontal line, this line here, is your x-axis, and this line here is your y, okay? And that's going to give us minus 3 minus 3. And if you had to type all of that on the calculator, or if you want, you can first simplify. So at the top, you'll have 3 minus 1, which is 2. At the bottom, you'll have minus 3 minus 3, which is minus 6. And that's going to give us negative a third. The negative is something we haven't seen yet. All that that tells us is that it's a line that is going downwards, okay? So a line like this is going upwards, whereas a line like this is going downwards. But if you use the formula correctly, it'll do all of that for you. Moving on to number two, which is to find the gradient of the line CD. So I'm just going to call C number two and D number one. So the formula says I should start with the Y value of point number two. So what you do is you go to point number two, which is C, and you look at its Y value. Well, that's going to be three. Then the formula says I must put a minus. Then I look at the y value of point number one, which is point D, and I look at its y value, which is minus two. Then I go to, it says I must look at the x value of point number two. So I go to point number two, which is C, and I find its x value, which is three, minus. And then I look at the x value of point number one, which is minus one. And so if you have to simplify that at the top, you would have 3 minus minus 2, which is 5. At the bottom, you would have 3 minus minus 1, which is 4. And so the answer is 5 over 4. Or you could type it all in on the calculator, but that is the answer for that one.